Do you think the 2020 election was stolen? Yes, absolutely. What evidence do you have? <laughs> we need to arrest every Democrat for treason. Putin is not our worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Our worst enemy is the Democratic Party of America. So this is Edward. We've seen him at three rallies in a row. This is his 69th rally. And do you sleep in these clothes? Because I've seen you in the same clothes. Uh, no, no, I actually, sometimes I sleep in the clothes. Do you think the 2020 election was stolen? Yes, absolutely. What evidence do you have? I was an elected official and I was there on the scene. Look, I, I, I saw with my own eyes the videos everybody else saw. You know, Trump is winning and at two o'clock in the morning, magically, they start stopping the voting and they count the mail-in ballots. And then by the morning, everything has changed. Look, look at the videos. But all, of, all of these videos have been debunked repeatedly, not only in multiple courts with Trump appointed judges, but Trump hired a team to forensically analyze the election, they came back saying there was no election fraud, no evidence of election fraud. Trump fired them and doubled down on the election fraud claims. Watch the movie 2,000 Mules. I've seen the movie 2,000 yeah. Mules. It's all been debunked. Everything in that movie has been debunked multiple I, times. I don't the, think the Nash, no, I, I, it has not been debunked. You realize the creator of that movie has been to jail multiple times. Oh, yes, just, yes, yes. He's, a, he's been politically targeted. I mean, uh, uh, Obama wanted him to be punished because because of what because he made the movie about Obama. No, uh, Dinesh is a victim of the radical left. Can I ask you though, yes. like, it makes, why do you trust a documentary over our actual courts and elected politicians? People like Mike Pence, people like Bill Barr, people that Donald Trump trusted with his life, and you trust a documentary over them? Those are a couple of rhinos. Rhinos? Yeah, they were, yeah, Pence is a bitter disappointment. Why didn't Trump see that when he appointed him as vice president? Uh, or? Uh, you know, Trump did a lot of things that were right. A lot of things that were great. I think his, his one mistake was that he trusted some of the wrong people. I mean, he he fleeced his cabinet like eight times in a row. He had like a 92% turnover rate. It's, it's the machine. You go, to, you go to Washington D.C., you look at that Capitol building. People try to pretend, like, they try to say this is a reverent place. This is a holy place. No, it's not. That's the biggest whorehouse in the world. Is the Capitol building? The ca that, is, well, that is the biggest brothel in the world. And with few exceptions, Everybody in there in Congress is a whore. Except for Lauren Boebert. Uh, except, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can understand your yeah. disdain for the yeah. Capitol building and the people inside of it, but I think there's one day where the Capitol building should be respected, and that day is when they're certifying the vo results of the election, right? Yeah. So on January 6th, every four years, the vice president certifies the results of an election. Now, when you have people breaking into the Capitol building trying to stop that certification from happening, isn't that anti-democratic? Oh, you mean when the FBI plants were breaking into the Capitol building and Antifa were among them wearing MAGA hats? I was there, and there was no plot to overthrow the government. Nobody was discussing that. What's the goal of these people that march from the ellipse to the Capitol on the exact date and the exact time that they're certifying the election results? The, so what was the goal? It, wasn't the, it was the same goal the previous two times. We we had speeches outside of the White House in November and in December. Mm -hmm. Then we marched the Great Mall two miles mm -hmm. to the Capitol, more speeches. We marched around to the, the Supreme Court, expressed mm -hmm. ourselves there. And then we went out and had dinner and had a few drinks and partied. Yeah. That's what was supposed to happen. In between chanting, hang Mike Pence? Or? Uh, no, and, who was, and who was doing that? You're going to say the FBI, uh, yeah, but it was yeah, clearly yeah. Trump supporters. Is Ashley Babbitt FBI too? No, Ashley Babbitt is the crispest addicts of the new American Revolution, the first blood. She, she was murdered. She was murdered. Breaking into the Capitol building. I thought you guys are all about self-defense, uh, right? I, 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 look, an un look, look at the videos. An unarmed woman with her hands on a flagpole. The cop comes behind her and shoots her from an behind. An unarmed woman breaking through a window that uh, senators were behind. Senators were behind. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what happened. Uh, Chuck Schumer grabbed a hold of that cop and probably and he, and he said, you know, we need blood on the floor. Go up there and you kill think somebody. You Schumer wanted Ashley to have it done? I, 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 think, I think the Democrats needed blood on the floor, and somebody ordered that cop to go up there and kill somebody to get blood on the floor. <laughs> I've, I've been to a lot of Trump rallies. So have uh, I. Uh, yeah, 67. Oh, wow, I not that many. I, I've had the FBI at my house twice. For what? They wanted to know why I go to so many Trump rallies. Interesting. Was this after yeah. January 6th? Oh, yes, it was. Of course it was. Were you and at then, January 6th? Uh, yes, and I did not go into the Capitol building. Is that why the FBI came to your house? Uh, I didn't do anything wrong. I last, uh, but not only that, I suddenly, I've been audited now by the IRS. They did, I, I received this letter. I still have it. I got it framed. Mm -hmm. It said they determined that I had underpaid my federal income taxes by $10. And if I didn't make good on this $10, that I could face possible imprisonment. The deep state wants you to file your taxes okay. correctly, man. So I want to push back on some other topics. Yeah. What do you think about the war going on in Ukraine? Uh, you know, I, I sympathize with the Ukrainian people. 
Uh, and as much as we should help them, I think we need to help uh, Americans first. We're securing the Ukrainian border, and we're not securing the American border. And also, I'm not happy with the fact that uh, a lot of the left-wing Democrat communists are all eager to have poor money into Ukraine, which, yes, they're not the Russians, but it's a notoriously corrupt country. They, they want to ignore Israel. They want to ignore Israel, which is being attacked at, uh, by, by savages. Biden is absolutely not ignoring Israel. He's given them a lot of money and met with Netanyahu multiple times but as far as Ukraine goes we're not sending raw cash over there we're sending stockpiled equipment from the 90s that's nearing its expiration date anyways and it's actually creating new American jobs new manufacturing jobs as we create new gear so not only are we sending gear over there what's so funny I, th I, th I think I think uh, there's a lot of war profits here and going on and there's a lot of corruption in the Ukraine and I don't think we're helping the Israelis enough well, like, and ju just the fact just the fact that they're promoting the uh, the obscene absurdity of a, of a two-state solution you think war profiteering is going on more in Ukraine than the than Russia, which is literally an oligarchy where people get rich off of stuff like this? Uh, uh, the thing is, yes, the Russians are the are the big villains. Yeah, but uh, can, uh, can I add uh, one more point? Uh, a lot of the corruption in Ukraine is a function of Russian yeah, authoritarianism yeah. on their border. But keep, keep yeah, but, but but I mean, just because the Russians are 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 satanic and evil and godless doesn't mean that the Ukrainians are saints. Yeah, but the, Ukra <laughs> the Ukrainians don't have to be saints for us to want to respect international rule and protect their borders, right? There's a lot of money pouring into that country, and I had no problem with helping them at the beginning, but I mean, we're giving all the money to Ukraine. We're not giving money, we're giving military equipment. Well, uh, we're, we're not doing enough for this country. And we're not doing enough for Israel, and we're not helping Israel enough, and we're trying to convince. I mean, just just the fact that they were being pressured into like backing off. You you, you guys should have the ceasefire. You got attacked, and your people were massacred, and, and now you should like deal with it and chill out, baby. You know, Do you think Israel should at least try to minimize the amount of civilian deaths? The civilian deaths are occurring because the, the Palestinians, are, uh, the Hamas, the radical Palestinian Hamas, they're using citizens as human shields. Last time we talked about January. 6th, I think we talked about Dinesh D'Souza, yes. right, and election fraud. Today, what do you think? What do you want to talk about? Anything on your mind? Uh, well, look at the weather we've been having. So much for global warming, Greta. You know? Global warming doesn't mean there's one or two cold days. It's a broad pattern of change over time. Climate is not the same as weather. You understand that, right? Yes. Look, I don't believe in littering. I don't believe in polluting. Good. And you know, and look, look what we've done with gasoline over the past two generations, yeah. unleaded fuels. You do think that if humans litter too much, that could affect the climate? No, I think it just it can affect everything. It's shitty. So I, humans I, should take care of the planet. Yes, but... So humans but should take care of the planet in some way. Left. They, look, I'm, I'm older than you. Yeah, of course. I could be, I'm probably older than your dad. I'm 64. Mm -hmm. He's younger than me, right? Mm -hmm. Your father's yeah. younger. Look, I remember back in the 60s, the hippies, they were all against fossil fuels then. The Grateful Dead wrote songs against fossil fuels. This is a communist plot to convince well-meaning Americans to destroy themselves for the sake of the, the, uh, the false climate god. But... I'm going to say what I said to her. If you look at any sort of chart, you can see a direct correlation between when humans start using a ton of carbon, when they start emitting a ton of carbon into the air, between the climate rapidly changing. And climate change doesn't mean there's no cold no, days. Allow me to interject, though. Then why, isn't, why aren't these globalist communists pushing for global reductions in carbon. No, we are. Like no, things like the Paris no, no, Climate no, no. Accord, and we enter these things, and every yeah, yeah, country yeah, has to keep yeah, their carbon all, emissions. All the Western world, all the Western societies, all the capitalist societies are being squeezed into giving up carbon. Cool. These authoritarian they, regimes they, don't want to participate in our they, they are, stuff. They are doing, the Russians and the Chinese are doing whatever the fuck they want. And even India and Pakistan, screw you. And, like, why, why, a little old America isn't going to change <laughs> What is happening in the world is not complex at all. And, and that's why we need Donald Trump. Trump, because this is greater than just getting some Republican who's going to fight the Democrats. This is bigger than the United States. We are in the middle of World War III right now. Mm -hmm. It's being fought differently. Hitler was an insane moron because Hitler tried to conquer the world by force really fast. And if you try to conquer by force, people are going to pick up their guns and fight back. And if they're good fighters, they're going to take you Would down. Would you apply the same standard that you applied to Hitler? He's a moron for trying to use hard power to take over the world. So Vladimir Putin right now, his conquest through Ukraine and is trying to restore the old Soviet Union. Uh, Vladimir, Vladimir Putin is, is an evil man. Yeah, of course. But he's, uh, he's not Hitler. Of course uh, he's, not, he, he, he's, he's worse because he's more sophisticated. He's, yeah. like a J he's like a James Bond villain. He's pretty bad. Yes, yeah, so, you know, I mean, look, he's smart. He's shrewd. 
I mean, look, like, I'm not saying Hitler was dumb, but Hitler was a psychotic, like, methadrine user. They said he wouldn't yeah, sleep he would for three weeks at a time. Matter. He was a raving idiot, just yeah. killing any... Well, Putin is Putin is far more formidable because he's far more sophisticated. You know, how to play the game of chess a lot better. I'm, I fear Putin. So, but yeah. Putin is not our worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Our worst enemy is the Democratic Party of America. These are the mo look, there was a great evil that swept, there's always been a great evil that has swept through the world, which has threatened human beings, human dignity, mankind, freedom. This country needs a Nuremberg style trial. We need to arrest every Democrat for treason and have a Nuremberg style trial and then Afterwards, the ones found guilty, they should be punished exactly like the Nazis at Nuremberg. What have the Democrats done that falls under treason? <laughs> that, uh, uh, every, uh, that they have violated the cons. Look, the government has been. They, the Democrats have weaponized the government against the people. How so? Give me an, exa I need well, an example if you're going to make a claim that they're going to be prosecuted like the Nuremberg trials. Th this little cipher, me, I mean, I'm nobody important. I make horror movies and I work for a finance company. Are you going to point to the FBI coming after yeah, you yeah, again? Yeah, well, this is maybe because you were at January 6th, yeah, yeah, the I, day that... Yes, and, and like I told these agents, I said, you call yourselves investigators. You should know. You should know that I am a Boy Scout. I'm clean as a whistle. If you investigated me, I go to church on Wednesday and Sunday twice a Week. In between that, you're at the Capitol trying to subvert no. the will of the American people? No, I was not. That is a... T every... You weren't there. Everything you hear about that on the mainstream media is a total fucking lie. There was no revolution. I went there because it was my 50th Trump rally. I went there to see the president speak. So I believe that you went there with good intentions, but I do think there were people at that rally chanting oh. 1776, trying to get into that Capitol, wanting a Who revolution, just like you said. Who were they? The people that Trump called do his rally no, and gave weren't. a speech. No, they too. weren't. If you watch Trump's speech, let us march peacefully. Look, I got to remind you, as I told you, I think before, everybody forgets. After the illegal election, which was crooked, there were two other monstrous rallies in D.C. The first one was called the Million MAGA March. Yeah. It was two weeks later. It was in November. Three days before the Capitol riot, Donald Trump called Brad Raffensperger and called a yeah. bunch of other governors and secretaries of state saying, I need you to flip the results of this election. I need you to find uh, these votes. Uh, well, Three days later, he holds a rally at the Capitol. All of his supporters are held a rally at the Ellipse. All of his supporters walk over to the Capitol. They yeah. chant 1776, hang Mike Pence. What does 1776 mean, uh, do you no, think? No. Uh, let me tell you what happened. These guys were just little stoners, and they were having some fun and laughing it up. And he was like, I am. I'm like, who are you, man? I am the great MAGA shaman, yeah. the great spirits of the world. And they were laughing. They were just having a good time. They were not coming to overthrow the government. Was These were Halloween costumes. Was this before or after they took a shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk? They did not take a shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk. You don't think so? No, they did not. I'm going to ask you one more question, and we got to wrap up. Oh, and no, no. We, we have a limited time I'm period. Sorry, so, no, 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 you're good, but we have to fly out in like four hours, so we got to go talk to more people. You're not so, going to be here tomorrow? No, no, we can't. Um, not where all the bikers are. Yeah, maybe we should have been. Yeah, wait, but, um, wait, where's the victory party going to be? Do you know? Biden's victory party? No, no, Trump, so I want to crash that. <laughs> Let me ask you, Ashley Babbitt was a veteran. Yeah. She should have known that if you're breaking into private property, if if you're breaking into the Capitol building where there's senators, there's congressmen, and there are people telling you, stop, stand down, stand down, you, you should did, probably stand did down. You, did you, well, she was foolish. I saw the video. They, they lifted her up and pushed her through the window. She wasn't, they, they, they picked her up and pushed her in there. She broke the window. So you think it was the people that lifted up and pushed her? Still they got her killed? Still on. It's breaking. Let's, let's, let's just run with you. Your theory is breaking window grounds for putting a bullet in somebody's. I don't know. Head. If I break a window and try to get into your house, would you kill me? If it was, if it was a white cop who shot a black protester, uh, they'd be burning this. Well, answer my question. If I've tried to break into your house through your window, would you shoot me? If you try to break into my house, yes. But so but, look but, at that. No. So you but, understand self-defense. But this is the people's house. We own that house. Not the, not. It isn't. It isn't that bitch Nancy Pelosi's house. And they were letting people in. It's not the people's house on the day they're certifying the results well, of the election, man. For a second, you know. That rally was scheduled where Trump was going to speak. We had, we had, we all knew that the time scheduled all the speeches. Mm -hmm. Giuliani spoke, Don Jr. I forget who else. They were, no, but Trump was supposed to speak from 11 till 12, a one-hour speech. Yeah. After which it said, then we're going to march to the Capitol. Trump doesn't show up. He's an hour and 10 minutes late. Shows up at 12:10. We're like, where is he? There's this gap. Nobody's speaking. The attack on the Capitol, and it's proven, began at about 12:30. So you know it's an attack. 
Well, well, but whoever attacked the Capitol were not Trump supporters. They weren't Trump supporters. They were just people who showed up to a Trump there, rally there, and Trump there, merch. There's been evidence that some of those that some of those vandals were actually members of Antifa and Black Lives we Matter. We have to keep going on. But and the FBI. I love talking to you, yes, Edward. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll give you my business card so we can oh, talk more after. Please do. I, will. I, I would love to talk to you more. You got to get the bomb. He took me about four months. He's from an old 150-year-old barn bean. You're pretty skilled, huh? Thank you. Started carving about four years ago. Did you hold the other side? Too? Yeah, you got to get this in Russia with love. <laughs> Where do you plan on dropping this bomb? Back in my shop. 